congratulations your drupal installed finally and you can check the version over here in the report section if you will go for the status report then you can see drupal 10.0.7 version is the latest version friends so today we are going to install drupal 10 on our windows 10 operating system okay so let's open our chrome browser we will first two things are needed and let me make a notepad two things are needed or you can say prerequisite to install drupal 10 first is xamp software that is necessary to create a virtual environment which will provide linux apache php mysql in a single package and then we will install drupal 10 first we need to download drupal 10 and then we can install drupal 10 okay so first we will search for download them for for windows 10 and then go to download them website here we will download the latest version or we can go for 8.1.17 that will be fine okay i'm downloading so it's taking some time to download so we are going to install drupal 10 using composer so two more software you will require that will be composer okay and this will come before installing drupal 10 and also for windows you need to download git bash git bash is a software which provides command line tool where you can use linux command so that it will uh, use composer command it will use linux command to install anything to create directory anything like that okay so these these three software you will require and then we can install drupal 10 easily so one by one we'll go to that okay so exam software is downloading and for git bash i have already there in my system you can see this is git bash okay and the uh, composer i have already okay oh, already installed in my system so i will provide both these software git for git bash and also for the composer link to download these two software so that you can easily download i will provide link in the description box so that you can easily download these two software okay so let's wait for the xam to download this is downloading currently so it is downloaded successfully i will run it so that it can be installed in my system it is downloaded i will just install it so i will click on next next then i will uh, install yeah this is a path where i xamp will be installed so that is next okay it will take some time to install them okay so xamp has been installed do you want to start the control panel now yes okay so i will start the apache and mysql start button and then click on start button so apache is and mysql both are started you can see green color so that is why uh yeah it is started so now i will check xamp is installed perfectly or not i will go to localhost and type so it will open like that if you type localhost then dashboard will open and if you click on php my admin it will show you the database management tool php my admin is a clear database management tool where you can create new database like this click on new and i will choose drupal 10 because we are installing drupal 10 so now creating database it is it has been created the new database name is drupal 10 okay so now what we'll do xamp installed database is created now we need to install drupal 10 using composer okay then we'll go to this one and xamp i will remove using composer to install drupal and manage drupal.org okay okay so i will use this command and i will open my git bash and i will go to cd c drive because xamp is installed in c drive then cd xamp folder then cd st docs those folders are already created so i will go there and then paste command over here and i will provide my site directory name that will be drupal and that, that you can choose anything so i'm uh, writing drupal 10 that will be easier to understand a, a folder will be created in the st docs folder after this so i'm running this command okay so there is an issue it is saying something like that requires extension gd 
install it is missing from the system okay so what we need to do regarding this okay i will open the xam and i will go to config folder then i will go to http xam configuration then we'll search for gd that is missing because uh, it is not able to search okay so maybe this in this file i will search for php.ini file and then search for gd yeah it is there then i will just remove this colon so that it will be taking ram will be taking the extension gd it will save the file and then restart the apache server okay it is started now so again i will try to install this okay directory is not empty now so what i will do i need to go to stdocs drupal 10 i will empty this folder again and then again we'll try to install okay so now it is installing all those library which is required to run the drupal 10 okay so congratulations you have installed the drupal code base from the drupal recommended project template okay so it is now installed so yeah i will then check how it is installed and will run then setup for the drupal i will go to localhost then type drupal 10 because drupal 10 is my folder name and then we'll click on web okay now this will set up the drupal application so my language will be english standard i will choose installation profile okay so it is saying php opcode caching can improve your sites it is highly recommended to have op cache installed on your server php 8.1 okay that is fine so yeah setting file is writable and then site default settings exist so it is saying uh, this should be this should exist this file should exist and setting file should be in writable mode okay so what i will do i will then go to drupal 10 then go to web and sites default yeah those two files are there what you it was saying these are the two files and it should be writable so i will check the permission i will change the permission add add it and allow all so i'm providing all permission to my settings file yeah so this is fine now i will reload this yeah now i will run continue anyway now it is asking for database configuration drupal name so drupal name will be drupal 10 what i have created database username will be root and database will be blank database password will be blank and nothing you need to here yeah, and then go for save and continue now actually setting up all the required module for the drupal application to run calling tour module field module custom block module it takes some time yeah now asking for site name site name it would be drupal 10 only email address you can give any whatever you want i will provide my email id over here like encourage.com site maintenance account admin password whatever you like to create country you can select mine is india time zone you can select calcutta where it will be kolkata i don't want to receive check for updates yeah now this is going to install drupal finally yes now it is done you can save the password over here congratulations your drupal installed finally okay welcome you haven't created any front page blah 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 this is going so now you can see all those menus content and everything here everything is there yeah and you can check the version over here reports in the report section if you will go for the status report then you can see drupal 10.0.7 version is the latest version and apache version everything is there our php version is 8.1.7 okay so that is it to install drupal application on our windows 10 operating system hope you like the video if you have any issue to install drupal 10 on your windows 10 operating system you can comment you can uh, you can comment to my channel and also for more detailed step by step description you can go for the description box where i have provided all the links to download the software and if you find any issue then also i have provided all the details over there thank you